I said she came on the podcast. Clip two. I'm curious, like, you don't do too many long-form interviews. What made you want to do like Colorado today? Well, I think you and your listeners have really got this thing right, which is one of the best ways to communicate with people is to be real, you know, and to talk about the things that people really care about. I mean, what I love about what you do is that your voice in, in your show is really about your listeners. And I think especially now, this is a moment in the country and in life where people really want to know they're seen and heard and, and that they're part of a community, that they're not out there alone. And um, the people in North Carolina. It's <laughs> a great point. Yeah. A great point. First of all, she's done none of these style of interviews. And if she thinks it's the best, they really got it down because they're being real in long form interviews. She has not been real at any moment during this campaign at all. I know. I know. She has done not only no long form interviews, but almost no end of interviews of any kind since she got into the race, which is fascinating. And, uh, and then and very revealing. Uh, and she went on with this to talk about um, about uh, abortions. Now that was basically the topic, from what I understand. I did not hear the entire thing, but the, my understanding is the ninety oh, percent of the material was about abortion. You might understand that coming from you know a female-hosted show that mostly sure. talks about sex, right? The promiscuous right. sex and abortion probably on your mind. It's right. your lifestyle. Right. Uh, right. So uh, here they are talking about uh, abortion. In the debate, former President Trump claimed that some states are executing babies after birth. True. Can you just clarify, that is not happening anywhere in the United States. False. It is not happening, and it's a lie. Just, it's a bold-faced lie. You are the liar. No. She is completely lying here, as usual. Now, she knows that the word executing is the one thing you might be able to quit in your head, right? Like, it, it, it quit. executing is a... Uh, you don't strap the babies to an electric chair. Right. There's no firing squad. As far as right. I know, no, that's happening. I mean, you know, certainly uh, uh, gangs are coming across the border and murdering children in this way. Right. So I don't know if I'm going to go that way. But when you're talking about infants right after they're being born, what they're talking about is something that is uh, that Tim Walls, for example, uh, put into law in Minnesota for years and 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 years. The standard of care was you had to do everything you could to keep a baby alive if they are born after a, a, fit, a botched abortion. Um, if the baby gets born alive, you have to do everything in your power medically to keep that child alive. Tim Walls changed the law in Minnesota to say you just had to provide care. And what that means in this particular context is keep them comfortable. Keep them comfortable. If, the, if the mother and the doctor decide, you'll hear them say that, that's the way they get out of this, the mother and the doctor decide, you know what, we don't think this baby's going to make it, don't bother with life-saving measures, they just don't try, and they'll try to make them comfortable, maybe give them some drugs to take some of the pain away, and then watch them fade away in front of their eyes. This is a different standard. You might like that standard. You might think it's the right standard. But it absolutely is a change in our society from keeping infants alive to letting them die on the table and just making them comfortable like you might your 103-year-old grandma. That is what we're doing now. Is that the right thing to do? The left thinks it is. And I think it even well, gets darker than this when you, you you can certainly go to Kermit Gosnell and find things that are even darker versions of this. So it absolutely is happening in this country, even when you talk about execution level stuff. But by the way, this by is the way, what the law is. I, I, I want you to understand that they know that you think it's wrong, that their own voters think, yep. think it's wrong. Otherwise, they wouldn't be lying about it. They would say yes, and they'd be proud of it. Uh, but they know that the average person, including their voters, are not for anything like this. You know, there's another story uh, that's, well, it's exactly the same uh, story. Um, you, uh, as doctors, had to abort uh, children uh, if they were born and they had any kind of problems or anything like that. 
and people really got upset about it. Uh, and so then Hitler came in and said, that can't be happening. I'm going to do an investigation. And then he found out it was happening. And so he's going to go out and stop it. And uh, this is an outrage. And what did he do to stop it? He told the hospitals and the doctors, this cannot get out. You need to be better at hiding it. But go forward. That's exactly what we're doing here in America. 